In this session, we are going to learn little bit more about JavaScript. That is, we are just going to see history of JavaScript. In our previous session, I have already introduced to you with JavaScript. Okay, if you have not watched that one, you can watch to get more understanding on JavaScript. Okay, we have already seen it is a powerful programming language that can interact with websites. It can be used both as a front end and a back end programming language. As it is always said that to achieve greater heights, we have to struggle a lot and we have to face lot of failures. So in the same way for programming language JavaScript also, we have many stories and how it started and how it was developed. We have plenty of stories and after going through all the stories, after going through all the struggles, now JavaScript is the most popular programming language in the world. In 1995, what happened uh, to use one scripting language in Netscape browser that is in version 2, they hired Brendan Each and he was given a task to write a scripting language. So within 10 days, he created a scripting language and he named as Mocha. Okay, later that name was changed to LifeScript and again after that LifeScript was changed to JavaScript. Okay, that time Java language was very, very popular just as a marketing strategy. Maybe they have used the name as JavaScript. Okay, although Java and JavaScript are completely different languages. Okay, they are not related to anything. Okay, Java is completely a different language and JavaScript is completely a different language. Okay, in the same way, if I give an example, if you heard about Gulab, okay, that is Rose. Gulab and Gulab Jamun, okay, they are completely different. Honey and Honey Bee, they are completely different, okay. Both things are having their own identity that is different and this is completely different. Okay, only maybe because of marketing strategy, because Java was very, very popular. Because of that, maybe they have used JavaScript, but both languages are way different. They are not similar to each other. When this JavaScript was created, for the very few years, okay, first few years after it was built, JavaScript was only used to add some mouse over effects or some interactivity. It was used to build interactive pages, but not in complex level. Okay, it was not used to build applications. It was not used to build games, advanced, fully fleshed website. It was not at all used. And those effects were only added by writing the code inside the script tag. Okay, inside HTML, we have script elements, okay, script tag. Inside that, we just used to write the simple JavaScript that is adding mouse effects and adding some and adding some basic interactivity. Okay, so for that, we just used to write inside the script tag and the code used to run. For first few years, we were using JavaScript in that way. As we know the rule that HTML, CSS and JavaScript they must be a backward compatible okay even the advanced code like we are having now we are having much advanced code and that advanced code was also wrapped inside the script tag we can execute the javascript code inside the html by using the script tags okay script tags you don't have to worry when we see how to execute javascript code practically then you will understand what is script tag and what is the importance of script tag in HTML document. Okay, over many years, JavaScript was working, JavaScript was working and it became very, very popular and now continuously is one of the top most programming language. And later what happened in 1996, Netscape made a deal with organization known as ECMA. ECMA is nothing but European Computer Manufacturers Association. They just made deal with them to make standardized form of JavaScript. Okay, ECMA is nothing but it is a standardized form of JavaScript. Whatever rules we add, that we directly add inside the ECMA. And whoever wants to use that one, they can use. And it is going to tell that we are working on the same language. 
okay whatever they are working that is worked only on javascript in 1997 the first version of ecmascript was released in our previous session we have seen more about ecmascript if you want to know more about that you can just go to that video and you can watch that one okay what happened it just publishes the specification as a ecma 262 standard this standard will let us know how things should work in javascript how the features will work everything whatever we add that should be added inside this ecmascript because it is a standardized form of javascript suppose if many developers add features which are not related to each other and if they keep on adding in javascript that will not work in every browser that features may not work so that is the reason this standard was made so that everybody follows this standard but at that time it was not having a complete identity only for front end we were using for back end we were not using javascript it only exists as an implementation okay this implementation is known as javascript engine okay traditionally what happens only in environment which is possible to run javascript engine that is the browser okay inside the browser we used to run javascript engine javascript engines are the building block of browser because of this javascript engine browsers were able to accomplish to achieve users goal of utilizing the internet for work research plays whatever stuff okay searching surfing everything because of this javascript engine it is possible so basically when developers are writing javascript code they are just interacting with javascript engine and every browser will be having javascript engine to execute our javascript code okay as long as you are having javascript engine inside the browser we can use javascript okay in mobiles also we have in laptops we have in every browser we have this javascript engine now if i just put in another word when we are writing javascript code it simply means that we are talking to javascript engine okay you can just tell like that Okay, we are interacting with javascript engine we are talking to javascript engine by writing javascript code these javascript engine comes with different ways to interact with various other parts of the browsers okay there are known as browsers apis apis you don't have to worry later we are going to see in advanced topics what is api how to fetch apis everything we are going to see in later sessions okay the code which we write in javascript it allows us to interact with javascript engine inside the browser and interact with other browsers functionality that exist outside of javascript engine but it was still inside the browser we were not allowed to use javascript engine outside the browser so for that what happened in 2009 a very clever software engineer ryan dull what he did he embedded c++ programming into browsers engine okay v8 engine v8 engine is embedded inside chrome browser so inside that he just embedded c++ programming and he created node.js node.js is nothing but it is a runtime environment for javascript so what happened because of that javascript was not limited only inside the browser we were able to use javascript outside the browsers as well outside the browsers in the sense we were able to use javascript as a backend programming language that is inside the servers to write backend logic we can use javascript now and because of that feature he made javascript engine as a stand alone entity due to which we are able to write javascript code inside the browsers we are able to run javascript inside the browsers as well as outside the browsers as a separate program on the command line that is on the server side okay whatever code we are writing on the front end part that is the client side whatever code we are writing on the back end part that is the server side server side coding or the logic users will not able to see 
but front end part most of the time users will be able to see the code okay because of this feature now javascript is running both in browsers and on servers this is how javascript was created okay in next session we will see how to use javascript in real world what are the ways to execute javascript code how can we start with console tab how can we start with developer tool in next session we are just going to see that one